Alrighty guys, I wanted to make a video for you today just um, really quickly on a technique that I use to actually cut my mowing time in half, which therefore doubles my earning potential. Now, a few things, there's a couple uh, requirements in order to actually be able to use this technique. Number one is you have to have a dense route that you already are mowing in. Um, you have to have a lot of houses at least in the same neighborhood. Number two, I guess it's not so much as a requirement, but this is how I was able to cut so much time out, and that is I, that is being I have a trailered system. I have a zero turn that goes on a trailer. Um, now, getting right into this, what I was doing before is um, I have eight properties specifically that I mow that are in the same neighborhood. There are more that I do mow, but these eight are the ones that I was able to save um, the amount of time on because they are in the same neighborhood. Now, there's three properties that are on the same street, and property number one, what we would do is, me and the one other person that I would mow with, is we would pull up to property one, the person that was mowing would drop down the gate on the trailer, they would unhook the mower, they would start the mower up, drive the mower off of the trailer, mow the property, and then drive the mower back onto the trailer, turn it off, strap it down, close the gate, the person that was trimming would, um, take the trimmer off of the trailer where it was mounted, trim the property, and then obviously mount the trimmer back. And the system that we had to save to save some time while doing that is whoever, um, whoever got done first would then blow off the property. If the property was to be edged, they would also do the edging. Um, but this wasn't 100%. There was, even with doing this, there was always somebody waiting for the other person and each property we would have the setup time um, for the trailer, taking the mower on and off. So what we came up with in the technique that actually saved me um, half of the time was instead of the mower going on and off the trailer every property, the person that was mowing would actually mow the first property, drive down the street, mow the second property, drive down the street, mow the third property, and then go to the other streets in the neighborhood and mow the rest of the properties. Once the person that was mowing was done mowing all of those properties, they would then retrace their steps back to find the person that was trimming, meet up with them, and then help trim the remainder of the properties. Now, the person that was trimming, what they would do is, which was me in this case, is I would trim the property and then I would close the gate from the mower and actually just put the trimmer in the back of the truck. I would drive down the road to the next property, take the trimmer out of the back of the truck, trim that property, so on and so forth. And the reason that this saves so much time, like I said, is number one, the amount of time that we saved from having to take the mower on and off the trailer, strapping it down, and then turning it off and on was an enormous amount of time. Also, not to mention um, the person mowing has to wait for the person trimming to find a spot to park. Sometimes that's not always easy, waiting for cars to go by. Um, you're completely cutting out all of that time. Um, the other thing too is having to wait for the other person. As you probably know if you mow already, some properties take longer to trim, some properties take longer to mow. And even if you are doing the system where one person will blow off once they're done before the other person, you still have time where somebody is waiting for the other person to get done. This completely eliminates that. And if one property takes longer to mow, who cares? Um, they're just right. The person trimming gets done when they get done and they go right on to the next property. And this obviously saved enormous amount of time. It actually saved uh, 2.3 times the amount of time. Um, and just to go into the numbers on this, these eight properties were in total brought in uh, $275. Now we used to mow it in two hours and three minutes to make $275. Looking at my notes here, if you break it down to dollars per minute, we were making $2.23 per minute. Now with this new strategy, it actually took us from two hours and three minutes down to 53, or sorry, 52 minutes to mow all eight properties for the same $275.
that breaks down to $5.28 per minute compared to the $2.23 per minute, um, which equals 2.3 times faster. This completely this technique completely changed the way that I look at mowing properties. I mean, I always was looking at route density, but now, um, I mean, I guess I am, I didn't really change too much. I am still looking at route density, but I'm looking in terms of being able to have the person mowing go and mow all the properties that they can and then backtrace because as you can see, it just saved an enormous amount of time and scaling this up um, would just be um, amazing. Something to keep in mind too, if you're in a very competitive area and you are able to implement this technique, you might be able to offer a lower price to actually get those jobs. Normally, I would not suggest um, undercutting anybody, but in this circumstance, I mean, I went from making $134 an hour to $317 an hour, so there's definitely some room if you are implementing this technique with enough properties to um, charge less and if you have to. Um, but yeah, this is something definitely going into these summer months here for myself, I'm really uh, marketing towards these dense neighborhoods, hoping to get in there and get another eight properties, 10 properties, 12 properties, however many I can in different neighborhoods um, and really just use this technique as much as I can. So that's really all I have. I'm trying to keep this pretty short and simple. If you guys have already been using this technique, yeah, let me know. Um, if you guys are planning on using this technique, definitely let me know. Or once you do, come back maybe and leave a comment even. Um, or any other general comments, definitely just leave it down below. And if you can, leave a like. If you did like this video, that always helps me. And subscribe, which really helps. I also have some other videos, some other tips and tricks. Um, and also I, uh, I upload every week just showing my journey to financial freedom and my journey, um, growing this business. So if you're interested in any of that, subscribe, check out the other videos, but I hope you guys learned something today and found this video useful. Um, and that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching.